Tip nine, ah, the dependency viewer. Okay, it's a neat little option that not a lot of people use. Again, back over to ProjectWise Explorer. And I'm gonna log in back to my data source using my IMS account. And I'll go down to tip nine, civil, and I'll click on my DGN folder. And here we have a selection of CAD files. And you'll notice here, depending on whether or not there's reference files attached, you'll notice here that some of the icons have a little icon embedded inside. So the little icon is uh, reflective of a, a hierarchical tree. And that hierarchical tree will tell me that there's reference files that are attached to this particular design file, whereas these down here on the bottom, they don't have any reference files attached. So it's very handy to understand what is attached and how that may be impacted should I want to delete or rename a reference file. And this is one of the things that sets ProjectWise apart from using Windows and, and frankly other document management systems is we have the ability to see what's attached before we do anything. Uh, and we have a couple of ways to do that. So I'll highlight the, uh, the Sheets file. And honestly, I could right click on that Sheets file and I can come down to Set and I can look at Show References. And this will pop up a dialog box that will tell me any reference file that's attached to this master document. And you can see I have here a series of reference files. And some of these reference files have masters. And again, it gives me an idea that, OK, if I'm going to do something with this details drawing, that's going to have an impact to this, this design file. But there's a more in-depth way to do this. And I'll cancel this window. And again, keeping the sheets drawing highlighted, I'm going to come down to my dependency viewer. Now, assuming that you have this installed and set up for yourself, this gives me a bit of a different insight. So now here, I have a more of a graphical view, so I don't have to right click on anything. I can see that here are these design files that are attached. And I can also see that some of these have reference files attached. What's kind of neat about this is I get, I get some information right on this page. Right off the bat, I can see that I have edit options or edit rights on these documents because I have the pencil. I can also tell by seeing that pencil that these documents are not checked out by another user, right? So I can edit these if I had to. I also see that some of these have reference files attached to them. If I highlight any one of the reference files, you'll notice that uh, I'll get a green arrow that's telling me it's pointing back to my master design file which is kind of handy to know. I can do a couple of things here. So for example, I can come over to settings and I can change my window position to floating, which means I can pop it out for some of the more complex designs. I now have uh, the ability to get a little bit of a bigger map. And you'll notice some tabs across the side here. So I can do some neat things here. First of all, I can do a search from within here and I can search for any type of document that is part of this, uh, this family. So if I just typed in border, for example, and hit search, it'll show me any of the attachments that have border. All right, so it's a handy way to do a search. Again, I could have a master file that has dozens of reference files attached. So much easier to see through this view than it would be to try and sift through anything from a graphical perspective. What's also nice here is I can go down to block filter as one example, and I could change my nesting depth. So right now my filter is set to one, but let's say if I set that to three and I hit the green arrow to apply that, I now get a much further nest, nesting depth. So in this example, it doesn't go down to three, but it goes down to two. So I get an opportunity now to see what reference files are attached and the impact to this. So this particular design file is not only attached to this as a reference file, it's attached to this one as a reference file and this one as a reference file. So there could be some impact here if I decide that I no longer need that document or let's say that document's gonna be superseded. I wanna make sure I use care in that because it's used widely on this particular document. So this is, a, this is actually a pretty powerful tool. I have got a whole bunch of options across the top. I can zoom in and out of this particular window. Again, I've seen some nesting depths here that get down to seven, eight levels and, and hundreds of design files here. So it's not as easy to see as you can in a, in a much simpler example. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. I can take a window if I wanted to. 
of a selected area uh, and highlight multiple reference files. So I have a bunch of options here. It's a, it's a neat tool. It's something that I, um, again, I could probably spend an hour just on the dependency viewer and going through all the options and the properties and all the block filters. So it's something that, uh, again, just a little tip, probably familiarize yourself with this a little bit more. And if I just close this, it'll just pop it back into place inside of my uh, dependency viewer inside the preview pane.